Okay. <laughs> Hi guys, um, I'm off to the gym. Gonna head off to the gym and work out for a bit. I'm all set. Got my, my backpack and my, my water bottle. And yeah, I'm gonna go and work out. I've actually, um, I haven't been working out much lately. I haven't been working out. I've put on a bit of weight around my, you know, around my stomach. There's all the Christmas and the holiday period, all that eating. <laughs> so I've put on a bit of weight and um, I need to go and work it off. Burn off some calories, you know. I'll tell you my gym routine. What I usually do when I go to the gym is I warm up a little bit. Usually, that always helps. So I do some stretches, you know, stretch my legs and my arms. Um, maybe do a bit of cardio on the treadmill. And uh, then I get into it. I often go up to the weights room and I do some reps, do some pumps of mine, lift some weights. Usually free weights. I just work with the free weights. Sometimes do some bench presses if I'm there with my gym buddy. And... Um, yeah, maybe a bit of cardio, I like to do a bit of running, a bit of cardio exercise. And then at the end, I stretch and I cool down with some stretches, some kind of yoga style stretches. And sometimes if I'm not feeling too lazy, <laughs> I do some push-ups and sit-ups to get my abs, abs in shape. So that's my gym routine. What? <laughs> What's all that mean? English for at the gym. And I'm going to talk to you about what I just said and the phrasal verbs and vocabulary that I used. So in this lesson, you will learn five phrasal verbs, useful phrasal verbs you can use to talk about going to the gym and also some common vocabulary we use. Let's go. I said I'm off to the gym, which means I'm going to the gym to work out. Maybe you've heard this one, to work out. So that's a very common phrasal verb, which means to simply means to exercise. Do some exercise and work out. I'm going to the gym to work out. I haven't worked out all week. Have you been working out lately? Whew. <laughs> you look good. <laughs> so, <laughs> to work out simply means to exercise, usually at the gym and using weights and doing things like that, running and etc. Then I said, I put on some weight. I put on some weight. So, when we gain weight, we get a bit fatter. We say, put on weight. Put on weight. And the opposite is not put off. It's just lose weight or drop weight. But the phrasal verb for gain weight is put on weight. I've put on some weight lately. Did you put on weight? What have you been doing? Maybe not a nice thing to say to someone, but there we go, put on weight. So I put on some weight and then Therefore, I need to go to the gym and work it off. The next one, work off, work off. So you can work off the weight. What does it mean, work off? It means to eliminate or lose by exercising. So we usually work off our weight or our excess weight. Now this is a separable phrasal verb. You can work off your weight or work your weight off or simply work it off. Example, I ate so much food at Christmas time. I put on weight. I need to work it off. I need to work all that weight off that I gained at Christmas. So you can see, we can separate it like that. Another way to say it is burn off, burn off the weight. So if you have some you know, extra kilograms on you, <laughs> you can burn it off by exercising, usually running. 
running or swimming or you know doing that kind of exercise burn off burn off the weight burn it off now with work off you can also use it for other things for example you can work off your stress you can work off your tension you can work off your bad mood so for emotions and tension I'm feeling really tense lately. I'm going to go for a run to work it off. You're so stressed. Go to the gym and work it off. Or burn it off, you could also say. All right, next one. After that, I said my gym routine was to warm up first, which is very important. Warm up. This is not separable, by the way. We just say, I'm going to warm up before I start exercising. So you can guess, warm up is preparation. Sort of light, simple exercise to prepare for the, the stronger exercise. And then after, I said, I usually cool down. So it's the opposite. At the end of your exercise routine, your weights, you cool down. You don't just sit down. <laughs> you, um, you do some other light exercise to usually stretches to um, relax the muscles and stretch the muscles. And this is important as well. Um, so we call it a cool down, cool down. After my weights training, I always cool down. All right, let's go to some other words I used. I said, I do some weights. I do some reps. What's a rep? A rep is short for repetition, which means you repeat something. You do it more than once. One, two, three, four, five, and so on. So when you do weights, we repeat the weight. So if I do this muscle <laughs> is my bicep, bicep. So when I exercise my biceps, I have to do reps with the weights. I have to repeat the movement reps. So then I said, um, I use free weights. Free weights is simply weights that you hold in your hands that are not attached to a, um, a bigger machine or equipment. So you call them free weights. And I said, I sometimes do bench presses. So here's a picture of someone doing a bench press when you lie back on, we call it a bench and you lift much heavier weights, much heavier weights. And usually you need someone to assist you, someone to help you with this. Maybe it's your trainer, personal trainer, we call it, or PT, personal trainer, but it might simply be your friend. If you have a friend, who you go to the gym with regularly, we call this a gym buddy, gym buddy. My gym buddy and I go to the gym about three times a week. Gym buddy. Do you have a gym buddy? How often do you work out? Okay. So I talked about some other exercises that I do. Usually, um, sometimes to cool down or warm up. So I often do push-ups. Here's a picture of someone doing push-ups. And sit-ups. Another picture. Sit-ups, I said, are great for your abs. What are your abs? Your abs are your abdominal muscles. So the abdominal muscles are around the stomach area and the torso. The torso is this part of your body, um, but it's, it's more down here. It's the abs. So we do sit-ups and of course, many other kinds of exercises to work on our abs, to strengthen. We say strengthen our abs. How? <laughs> okay. Um, all right. Another thing I said is I, uh, when I use the weights, I pump iron, pump some iron or just pump iron. So to pump iron 
just means to use weights to exercise your muscles because weights are usually made from iron, iron material. So let's go and pump some iron at the gym. Then I also talked about cardio, cardio exercise. So I often do this at the gym too. Cardio, what is cardio? Cardio is short for cardiology, which is the study of the heart. Anything related to your heart and your, um, your blood system, how the blood moves through your body from your heart, the pumping of your heart. So we just call it cardio exercise. This is exercise which increases your heart rate and it's good for burning off calories. Okay. Calories are, um, calories are weight that you gain. So when you eat certain kinds of food, every kind of food has calories in it, which sometimes makes you gain weight. So you can burn off your calories by doing cardio exercise. So like running, I said that I often run on the treadmill. This is the treadmill at the gym. Doing cardio on the treadmill. All right, there we have it. So there's your lesson talking about at the gym, talking about gym exercise. How often do you work out? Leave me a, uh, an answer to my questions here in the comments. How often do you work out? What do you do to warm up before exercise? Do you need to work off any excess weight? Or maybe not. What is your favorite kind of exercise? Weights, cardio, swimming? Subscribe to me for more videos like this. All right, see ya.